Hello there, my friends. I hope that I find you all well and thank you so, so much for your continued love and support of me and this little YouTube channel. While I'm recovering, I'm going to continue sharing with you some of my favourite sewing and creative favourites. This week, it's one of my ultimate favourite things, sewing machines. So come and check out my little personal collection. Hopefully, my friends, I'll be back making, sewing and sharing with you all really soon. But until then, please do continue to support this little channel and my creativity journey. So let's go. Let's see those sewing machines. My first sewing machine is a Brother RL417, which you will probably recognise if you've watched any of my sewing videos here on the Evelyn Adore channel. This is my daily machine and she is a workhorse. I bought her from a well-known mail order catalogue company nearly a decade ago for under £100 and she's proven herself time and time again. She has 17 different stitches with a variety of straight and zigzags and a three-step buttonhole. She's lightweight, coming in at under six kilos, is easy to use, easy to thread, and I love her. And I'll say it over and over again here on the channel, you really, really don't need to spend a fortune on a sewing machine and have a ton of fancy options and stitches. For new sewists learning this art and for seasoned seamstresses alike, a basic machine like this one is honestly enough. And in my own experience, the less finicky and fancy the machine, the less likely there is for things to go wrong and get frustrated about. Simple. My next machine is so brand new to me that it hasn't even left its box yet. It's a Nechi NM2000 and it's the most fancy machine that I've ever owned or used and it's got so many options that it is mind boggling. This machine has 100 built-in stitches and much, much more besides. She embroiders, sews on buttons and even has an auto threader. Be still my beating heart. The reviews on this machine are fabulous and she was a steal at under £100. And all in a lightweight package of 5.9 kilos. This is the first digital machine I've ever owned and when it's unpacked it will be the first digital machine that I've ever sewn with. She was my Christmas present from my husband and I'm saving getting this beautiful piece of creative wizardry out and giving her a whirl from when I'm recovered. It's all about having those things to look forward to and I promise to share it all with you my friends. Exciting! This next machine is something that I've been equal parts eager and nervous about owning. Yes, it's an overlocker, also known across the pond as a serger. This one is a Singer 14SH754 and I bought this entry level overlocker last year. It's capable of using two, three and four threads to hem, stitch and overlock.
I went for the version with a differential feed. Because I sew a lot of stretch fabrics, this is a great feature to have. The adjustable feed helps prevent the bottom layer of fabric stretching out to help stop those pesky puckered seams. Unfortunately, my friends, total honesty here, I am still a little scared of this machine and I've only used it a handful of times, albeit every time successfully. When it comes unthreaded, and these machines can tend to do that, I'm still not experienced enough with it to immediately hop to re-threading it without a thorough read of the manual and quite a lot of head scratching. And honestly, that has put me off using it, which is a real confuddle because the only way to get used to it is to use it. Still, I'll get there. It's just much more comforting right now to stick to a faithful zigzag on my brother rather than be exasperated by unthreading nonsense. Putting aside my fear and inexperience, this overlocker has got amazing reviews however and was the one that I decided to buy after doing rather a lot of research. Usual Evelyn there. And I am promising myself that I will give myself the chance to build my confidence with it over the coming months. My final machine is my pride and joy and I'm so so excited and feel so grateful to have her. This is my vintage Singer 99k and isn't she just beautiful? I found her on a buy swap sell group on Facebook. My husband kindly arranged for my dear Auntie Carol to collect her and bought her for me for my birthday. The Singer 99 first came into production in 1911 and continued to be manufactured until approximately 1958. That's some serious staying power. Although it weighs in at a whopping 10 kilos, these machines were the lightweight versions of the time, being three quarters the size of the Singer 66, being portable without requiring any special table to be able to use them. Each machine is etched with a serial number by which you can identify when your particular machine was manufactured. The entire time it just felt as though this machine was meant to be mine and when the year of her manufacture came up it blew me away. This machine was made in 1954, the same year that my dear mum who taught me to sew was born. Meant to be my friends and I've named her after my favourite movie star of all time, Norma Jean. Norma Jean runs just fine and even came with original fittings boxes and manuals, as well as a huge array of accessories. I am so excited to restore and service her soon and I'm hoping to share it all with you all here on the channel, so stay tuned. Well, there we are, my very own little collection of sewing machines. I hope that you've enjoyed this little sewing machine tour, my friends. And how about you? Do you have your own collection of sewing machines yourself? 
or do you have any overlooker tips for me? They are all so, so appreciated. Let me know in the comments below, my friends. But until next week, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.